Hi guys, by Nexel here, and welcome back to my my playthrough of Poke. Welcome back to my Pokemon Zeta Nuzlocke. Okay, that's my intro, yeah. <laughs> so, um, last episode we made it to Blackfish City, which is where we are now. We went, we explored the, I think, residential district and climbed this department store. And we came here to find Dimitri, the psychic gym leader, sat here. And his stalker. Who at least left him alone for now. So, yeah, so we know Dimitri is the next gym leader and he uses psychic types. Okay, so, um, he said, I need to get the hang of these stairs. So, that's probably what we're going to be doing next. But first, we've got a bit more exploring to do. So, what I'd like to do first is if I find a Pokemon Center. Ah, Pokemon Center. So, what I want to do first is, if you look at my team, you'll notice I've was a bit all over the place. Yeah, like, Crunchy and Pin are in level 53, and they're going to be probably two of our most useful members, as well as Scrap. So, I kind of want to go back, and since we were struggling last episode, even, with just random route trainers, um, I kind of want to go and... Ignore that. I want to go and... Go back to the route we ju we did last episode. Take out all the trainers there, basically, to get a few experience. Am I not clicked on the win? Okay, there we go. Yeah, and get some experience. Look, don't ask. It's a okay. It, it's Bill's girlfriend, isn't it? Try and find a link between ESP and science. That's why I'm here. I'm studying Dimitri's battle techniques. Okay, so ESP. Is that something Dimitri is? Blackfish City is far from any ocean. I get nervous here, away from the sea. Okay, so basically, um, I'm gonna go take out those chains on the last route. Then we'll come back and explore the city a bit. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I've done some training as well as a bit of money grinding because I realised we were quite low on funds. So I focus most levels on to Pin and Crunchy. As you can see, they only gained like one or two levels each, because obviously those two plus Scrap are going to be really helpful against Dimitri, because he uses Psychic types. Now, um, I think we'll do our exploring first before we stock up for the gym battle. Do I know you? Why are you talking to me? Uh, that's a great question, and maybe because it's a game. The hell is that thing? This Jang is obviously a Pokemon, I'm suspicious there. Okay. I do say my good sir. The Suzerain is quite the amazing and refined individual. That's just switched on my iPad for whatever reason. Um Yeah, um the Suzerain is one of the guys who created this game, so is he gonna say something about I can call Hartley my friend. So Willis CMS is fairly cool as well. So yeah, these are uh, the guys, or at least the two main guys who created the game. So, yeah, are, are these meant to be like. Uh, are they just stroking their own egos with these meant to be like self inserts? I doubt it because they're old men. Uh, I'm a bit more confused about this guy right here, but we'll leave that for now. Um, so, who are you then? I saw the different kinds of Pokemon, how they catch Pokemon here. Would you like a sample? Quick ball, definitely. Yeah, I know what a quick ball does. Yeah, because if I use a quick ball on Jirachi, that probably would have been better. How's this going to say a city? There's maybe 20 people living here. Well, it's the biggest city we've had so far, so yeah. I wish I could go in the Pokemon subway station, but it's close for repair. I really want to go to see Roma region. There are two regions in this game. So this is like a Pokemon Gold Silver store sort of ordeal um, where you get the well there's the Yasasan first off where you first go to Kanto have you been to Safari Zone? who said there was a legendary that may have just been their advertising campaign though Safari Zone here wait in that case let me go to Pokemon Center quickly okay first of all finish what I said because there was also the subway in Kanto that 
could lead you to think it's golden rod. Yeah, it led you to golden rod city from like saffron city. So who was it that I caught in the safari zone? Was it Puff? Yeah, it just says safari zone, so there's no point going in. I was thinking you said like safari zone. Something or other. There may be, be a point in going in, but no, it doesn't. Okay, so let's talk to you then. Team Asgard hasn't read their ugly head here yet. Let's hope they never do. Like, just be Odin, so hopefully not. It's my first city investment. Got a spy zone, a gym, and more. What else could a guy want? I really want to change the Quasar League, but I, but I can get past this gym. Suppose it's meant to say can't get past this gym. Dimitri Psychotype Pokemon is strong against my fighting ones. Have you seen my fighting type? Mine's strong against psychic types. <laughs> oh, I can't be like these guys. I don't fit in. We are the spinners club, believe us. Can, can I join? Look, I can... I can... I can spin lock everyone. Oh, they're just going to say the same thing. Can any of you teach me how to spin? No, don't mean just give me like a rapid spin TM a minute. I wanna actually learn. I've got a crap turning circle. How come they get a good one? My response to say, oh come on, how difficult could it be? Okay. So it's not actually that big apart from that bit. I need more base. Rock Smash I don't know if I said this earlier, but Rock Smash usually you'd have it by now. Scarce and King you buy. Wait, is this like a proper lighthouse or is it just another shortcut to my base? Yeah, it's just another secret base shortcut. Okay, so that's good to know. Um, yes, take it, this is Safari Zone. No. Um, I don't think I can because I, I assume it still says Safari Zone. If not, I, c I can I can look into it a bit more in between episodes, so I see if I can actually go in there and get something legit. So I think that's it, apart from the gym. I'm not, can we actually go in this up? Well, I didn't say it was closed. Doors Pokemon Superstation is locked. Okay, so it looks like we're going in with this team. Okay, so first off, are you anywhere near? <laughs> Yeah, tell me how much you like me. Tell me how much you like me. Okay, he's still not there yet. Okay. So. First off, we've got more than 200 HP on someone. Oh no, we haven't. So I guess we don't need any... I guess we don't need max potions yet then. I did notice something that... I'm pretty sure my whole team is physical attackers. Apart from like... Crunchy's like a mixed attacker. But that's just because of the nature. She's like. <laughs> Everyone else is physical, so like all those special move TMs that we've just got, they're like really good TMs. The, the best you'll ever find in a shop in like most any mainstream Pokemon game. And they're all bloody. They're all bloody useless. Get a King's Rock to help us get flinches, but again, I think I'm going to be slower than most of them. If we get a quick claw, maybe. I think these are mostly evolutionary items, but those seals don't help with anyone's evolution. Uh, air balloon, life orb, toxic orb, shell bell could be useful. I've got plenty of choice items. Expert bout metronome scope and quick core. <laughs> Do we have anyone with low accuracy on any of the moves we're going to be using? Okay, <laughs> Crunch has full accuracy. Excellent full accuracy. Foul plane, Shadow Club, both full accuracy. Okay, so we don't need a wide lens for anyone. I think Crunchy especially is quite slow though. 
So Quick Claw could be useful for her. Shell Bell's just generally quite good. Especially if anyone's bulky. So if we go back to our stats. Okay. So... With 71 speed on Crunchy. So... I'm thinking we give Crunchy... The Quick Claw, maybe. And then I'm thinking maybe give Scizor, like, the Black Belt or something. And then maybe give scrap the shell bells. Or do we have leftovers? <laughs> yeah, I can give scrap maybe like do we do we have anything in our bag first off? Got Ivy Stone. None of these are any use. Sunstone. Choice band. Ups attack but only allows the use of one move. Could that be good on scrap? Yeah, that could actually be really good on scrap. Cause I don't see him using anything other than crunch in this gym. Cause I mean chip away could also be useful, but that's gonna be very minimal. Focus Sash, endure one hit KO move. Leftovers. Okay, so, so I wanted a quick claw for. Whatever's name, Crunchy. And then a belt thing for Sizzle. So, expert belt for scissor. Because obviously, why did I go back? Because obviously X is going to be super effective, and it's got iron head for fairy types, which is also going to be super effective. And you want a quick claw for crunchy. Okay. So, this should be good to take on the gym. Unless if we got anything we can use. So got earthquake. None of these are that good. Explosion, Giga Impact. What does this dark epithet? It's an Oko move. You just fuss with ghostly arm. Is this better than Shadow Claw? This is, if this is better than Shadow Claw, might as well give it to Crunchy. Okay, so Shadow Claw does 70 with high crit ratio. It's 90, but not full accuracy. Is that better than Shadow Claw? Because it's the same thing as with Zen Headbutt. It's it's got the same accuracy as Zen Headbutt. Because and although I've got Foul Play, which is a definite crit, I'm not sure if I want to give it. Should we give it? Okay, I'll give it. This could be a mistake. This could horribly backfire, but I think we should be good. Or did we? Did I say I wanted to give Crunchy Shadow Sneak? Uh, I'll do whatever later. So let's lead with Pin, and we'll head to the gym. Okay, so I did, I looked at my medicine pocket, 
and all I had was twenty was eighteen hyper potions. So I bought ten more hyper potions. I also bought ten max potions because as we get high level, we're gonna need them. We've got rare candies here. I won't give Sonar any because he's not going to be useful. Pin and Crunch can have one each. Okay, so. It's Dimitri's Psychic Gym, let's go. Okay, what's the puzzle going to be? Welcome to the Blackfish City Gym. It's led by Dimitri, our town's first psychic. Don't use poison or fighting types, but even bug dark or ghost types might be key to victory. You don't have a chance getting to our gym leader. We'll see about that. Psychic Thon? Ton? Oh, that's this thing with the bloody weird crying. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and do grinding, aren't I? This thing is higher level than me. Has the levels just had like a massive jump? Because I was like fairly much of Odin now that all the way. Oh, Wobbuffet. Okay, this is actually good because I can just sit here and sword stance. And it can do nothing. So as long as you don't destiny bond, I should be fine. If you just don't destiny bond them, we're good. Oh, fuck off. How long does destiny bond last? Well, I'm going to look it up. How long does it fucking last? Okay, so I think it just lasts until the end of the turn after since it's moving last. That's what I got from the article. So now I should be okay to just X scissor. And it shouldn't kill me. Okay, we killed it. And I'm okay, yeah? Cool. Okay, Espeon, yeah, that should be fine. Psychic, that shouldn't do too much. Be a bit more than I like it to. God of War should be fine again. Maybe heal up though. Because I don't like these. Good. I'm pretty sure God of War's got a better special attack stat than Nespion. I could be wrong. Okay, in prison. Yeah, I could have just killed you. And we've got Iron Head Fairy types, so. Even a God was not too bad. There we go. That's not a loss, just a setback. Okay, let's see what this puzzle thing is in here. Come on, true or false? The ground type is weak to the poison type. False. Oh, is this like... I think this is similar to Blaine's gym in the originals. I never played him, but I heard there was something like... It had a, qu a, a question that was wrong. Like, it asks, does... Caterpie evolve into Butterfree? And the answer is yes, even though it has to go to Metapod first. I predict your downfall is absolute sincerity. Okay, whatever you say. Psychic system. Let's try out Zombie Strike. Power Gem shouldn't do too much. Yep. Okay, that's decent. I still think Foul Play is going to be stronger overall, though. And foul play is more reliable. Now here's another hyper potion. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, so I take that massive dragon thing earlier. It was just like epic lol moment. Um, I was thinking, is it like whatever that is it like Mardu or something that that Givatina guy was on about? That it's something to do with Givatina. Executive. Like, <laughs> Assuming it's a cycle. Yeah. It's good old Cantonian. There we go. Bronzong. Okay, who do I send him for Bronzong? I guess I'll send him Fury for this one. She tends to be able to handle whatever. Heal block, yeah, sure. A bronze is not going to hit me hard enough to warrant me healing at this point. Especially if you don't move at all. Which was very kind of you. Moxie plus choice band or whatever you've got on it. Should be really good. Question 2. What Pokemon knows the creation? Oop. I, I literally just press space without looking at the answers. Well, good thing I was planning on healing anyway, so... Put Creation Trio is Dialga Palkia and Giratina. Dimitri's an amazing battler, he's the best trainer here. Well, that's to be expected, he's the gym leader. Maximilian. Solrock, oh no, it's going to use Cosmic Power. Stone Edge, don't do too m Oh fuck, that's a lot. Power trait is attack and defense. Does that mean you're bulky now? And you've just switched it straight back, so... I'm going to regret getting rid of fucking Shadow Claw, aren't I? Yeah, I'm starting to regret getting rid of Shadow Claw already. I might just have to go get Shadow Claw back after we're done here. <laughs> what was that ding noise? It's not shiny. I, I was thinking for a sec, is this thing shiny? But it's clearly not. Just confused where I go food protect? No. You got the double protect off, wow. It's always the bloody CPU that gets the ridiculous look in it. So all you've got is fighting and psychic attacks, I take it. Or maybe a normal attack. Yeah, that's one good thing. A lot of these guys won't have anything tick crunchy with. Gotta be. At least he hit that time. Or she rather. Critical hit. He's down there. Yeah, and it was just part of the cry as well. Shadow Ball. Right. So eventually, I think, because I think at the end. When we get to the floor, if Crunchy's still alive, I'll probably change it, her nature, so that her special attack no longer lowered, so she, I mean her physical attack is no longer lowered, so she becomes a physical attacker. But for now, with her nature, she's a mixed attacker, so I think Shadow Ball's going to be better than Zombie Strike for now. So it's less power, but it's got the full accuracy, which... We desperately need if that last bloody battle is anything to go by. Again, that was a glitch. Which of these Pokemon are in the Smogon Uber tier? Okay. Okay, so 
Disclaimer, I know fucking nothing about competitive. I'm pretty sure Celebi's not that useful. I think I've seen Excadrill used quite a bit in competitive. So, uh, I know Excadrill's good, but Mew has transformed, so... Because my only competitive experience recently has been, like, really watching YouTube videos of people playing it. And Excadrill's been the most common. But Excadrill seems to be the odd one out here, so I think I'll go for Mew. Oh, fuck it. Were there any more trainers? There might be. I'll go. I'll go fucking heal. Okay, so Excadrill. Correct. So there we go. Yes, there's another trainer. I'm the greatest psychic trainer there is, aside from the lead that is. Uh, yeah. Uh, so fuck Sabrina then, and fuck whatever other thing that. Was. <laughs> oh, swoo but I think I was literally just insulting this thing like last episode. Uh, slash. Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That fucking... That slash has boosted crit ratio, doesn't it? Okay. Do I want to risk taking an air slash? Probably not when I'm this close to the gym leader. This thing has extremely dreadful special defense as well, so I'm going into Fury. Now, uh, Fury should take this a lot better. There we go. Oh, what for? That's psychically quite a bit. Yeah, I'll probably have to go and grind after I've done. After I've reached the leader. Jinx. Should be able to iron head it. I could really use a fire type. Perish fucking song. I think I can kill you within three turns, so I've just got to remember to get. Yeah. So Pin's got to switch out this turn. Hypno. We had a Hypno at the beginning, didn't we? It's like fucking Lemon or whatever I named it. I don't think Hypno is too dangerous. Oh fuck. I've got a fucking crazy high attack to that, haven't I? <laughs> oh, this boost. Okay, that should kill. There we go. There we go, level 58. Focus punch. No, you're not having that. It's bad enough you've got high jump kick. I'm not giving you focus punch. Are you a psychic? Do I fucking look like one? Okay, so that's just one more question. What's the name of Deidre Dis James Dimitri? Lysander did that, so <laughs> that's a different girl. Okay, so we've defeated the gym leader. If there's anything we've taken away from it, it's that we are terribly underleveled. So I'm not too bothered about Sonar because Sonar's going to be doing fuck all this in this gym. So. I'm going to train at least our main three and maybe Sly and Fury to level probably about level 60. Maybe let Sly and Fury sit like high 50s. But um, yeah, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I'm back. Um, as I said, I've gotten our main three up to level 60. 
and Fury and Sly are both on level 59 just in case we do need them. I can't think of anything where we'll specifically need them but just in case. I think we'll lead with Crunchy because Crunchy can take most of what they've got and there should hopefully be a surprise in store at the end of the battle. Welcome by Nexel to my humble abode. I was just had no trouble in getting here. Normally I do not battle trainers who have not proven themselves to me by defeating hundreds of trainers. However, you have defeated Odin. I think... Surely we've defeated at least a hundred trainers by this point. To me, the thing leader of a terrorist group is as good as beating a thousand trainers. So bring it on by next time I'm ready to fight you. Surely we've beaten like over a hundred by now. Dimitri, that's Koga's sprite if I'm correct. I think it is. I, I can't remember who's spot. What, is this a double battle? This could actually be quite good then. Because if we can... I'll confuse where the Metagross. And if we can crunch Clay Doll, we can get the Moxie boost up. Okay, Scrap can take it. Scrap's quite bulky. Oh yeah, and you damaged your own teammate. That's great. Okay, hopefully Scrap can one shot the... Oh fuck, that did not go well whatsoever. Uh, I guess Fury might be needed after all. Oh great, clear body so it's not going anywhere. Great. That didn't even kill. Okay, I'm going to mostly use Fury to sit here and take hits and heal Scrap. Because I think Scrap's going to be in the main one doing stuff here. I kind of want to kill the Metagross, but I'm not sure we can. Okay, whose turn did that take? Okay. Yeah, good thing I healed. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to heal again. Better not. Oh, gotta be fucking kidding me. Rapid spin, yeah, that's fine. You've got lowered stats anyway. I should be able to hit. I might dragon. No, I want to kill that Metagross. Did I accidentally hit the bloody? I bl I hit the bloody clay doll. Didn't I? Well, at least waterfall should kill Metagross now. Yeah. Do I get Moxie Boost for that or does Scrap have to kill? So I'll 55. <laughs> okay, thank goodness. Okay, so now I get Moxie Boost. I did realise though that there probably won't be any fairy type moves because. I don't think there's many attacks in this game. That thing's got a fucking focus blast, isn't it? Okay, I'm healing you up. I want you to target the Reuniclus. Okay, Psychic, that's fine. Fury can take a Psychic. That's slightly less fun. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, now I'm thinking I might want to switch out into Sly because we've got lowered stats. Yeah, I think I'll just switch out. Let's bring in Pin. Oh god fucking damn it. Ok, 
Okay, you're going to heal yourself and... What happened? It didn't let me pick who I crunched. Oh. Cage. Sigilly. Is that... Oh, fucking hell. Actually, that's fine. It's a special attacker. That should be... That should be... Burn. Oh, you've got fucking... This has just really gone to shit, hasn't it? I came in so bad. But do not kill. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yeah. Just please kill the bloody Alakazam. Please. I'm pretty sure it's got no physical defense. Okay, yeah. Okay, now it's just the Gothitel. Okay, so you can Ice Fang that, and you need to get healed. Okay, I think we should be good now, but it's really fucking... He's killed two of my... But brand new Pokemon. Okay, Thunder Wave, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's kill the buddy Gothitelle. Oh, fuck off. Oh, and you're still killed. Oh, it's a crit, so... Does crit disregard burn, or... Is pin just that strong? Good thing I leveled up Fury then. Otherwise, would have been fucked. Jimmy Dimitri. My prediction for Vong. I fucking hate this twat. Well, at least we've got our surprise now. Let's see why it is. <coughs> yep, we got the friendship boosted up enough with the Soothe Bell. That's why he was getting experience. I gave. No, I think. I think she's a girl. I gave her the experience share. So that's why you saw her levelling up. <laughs> well, you certainly are an amazing trainer. Take this. The kinetic badge. Yeah, if this you can use to relax. Take this to help you in the future. Trick room. That is the fucking... <laughs> That's a terrible TM. I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use it against the Elite Four. I don't care. I fucking despise that man. <laughs> he killed my, my two brand new team members. Both dead. This is like their first major battle, and they're both fucking dead. <laughs> well, I guess now I can have those items, but... Quick Claw did fuck all. Choice Band probably did some it, but... That Alakazam though. This box is almost bloody full. Right, we can consider this not like a win if this box somehow isn't full by the time we defeat the champion. But it's still a win even if it is, but so who we got to replace them? We've got the bloody... We've got one of these two. Blunder or Muddy. 
got a fucking ninjax that's going to die to one hit, and we've got fucking clogs. You've got minus as well. You can have sturdy, but you've got fucking minus, so I'd have to use a fucking ability capsule on you. Oh, fuck it. Right then, I guess that's going to be the end of the fucking episode, then. Um, it's a bit of a sour note to end on, losing like, a third of the fucking team. But we we beat the gym leader, so now evolved, so... I guess it's not too bad. Uh, still sucks, though, so we're going to have to... Hopefully next... I probably won't put anyone on in between episodes, just so next episode, whoever we catch can, like, maybe join straight away or something. But anyway, uh, that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.